Hello, all you delightful, free-spirited little Sagittarius. This is your Tarology overview for the week beginning the 10th of May. Now, as Mercury turns direct this week and will be active, there will be activation and change, darlings, in your work and health sector. Now, what does that mean? For all of us, Mercury has been um, retrograde and in the middle of this week turns back. Now, when Mercury is retrograde, things break down, communications don't get through, people say one thing and do another, misunderstandings happen, and it can be very challenging. So, the benefit of that is, oh, relief for activation and change this week. Work, health. And I will say well-being is on the top of the list for you to address, right? Because I don't know whether you've been burning the candle at both ends or whether you've just been a bit tired or what the energy is, but it's saying to me that you need to be feeling better. You need to nurture yourself a little bit more. You need to give to yourself what it is that you would really like because that's what you need to do. And that will be excellent. This says there's a spiritual reason for that because there's a lot of stuff that's happening underground. I call it behind the scenes underground that you can't see, darling. But you want, right at this point in time, some balance and emotional well-being. And you will get that by a slight change in your attitude that the glass is half full rather than half empty. Nothing worse than a Sagittarius that's a negative because they're usually optimistic. But sometimes our journey on life and our experiences that we have can cause us to be a little injured in certain areas. And we all have that. Nobody is uh, exempt from the law of this land that we live in a polarity and we're going to have positive and negative things happen and we will go through things and have experience and that experience will colour us one way or another. But we can always change that by having a more positive attitude, darlings. So, because I love Sagis, they're free soul, free spirit and they're out there and they'll tell you the truth and, you know, very good. However, when they get a little bit injured, and I feel all of us get injured, they can be a little bit down. Now, there is going to be a freeing up. So, get ready to enjoy it. Another little bit. You could feel pushed and pulled in two directions in relationship to wanting quiet time and be away from everybody on your own and needing to go out and socially. So there could be a party or there could be a to a dinner invitation or whatever it is and you think, oh my God, what do I do? Where da dee da dee da Well, come to a compromise and balance it up. When you balance this and you do everything in moderation, then things will work out better and you will feel better. Look, darlings, use your sixth sense, but listen to your heart and get your head to organise it. That is the way to go. And I feel when you do that, there will be balance and a new beginning. You can then clear out whatever the negative influences have been and move forward in, oh, love it. Pluto card is the, is the, the judgment card is Pluto and it means birth, rebirth, death, birth, death, rebirth and regeneration. So there's going to be some of that for you this week. Trust and enjoy. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. And so it is.